let's rewind a little bit. I'm in bed with this guy. I got a rash on my stomach. And I was like, hey, man, what do you think that is? And he's like, I don't know. And I was like, I think it's cancer. And then we laughed and we laughed. <laughs> Because that's the best part about making out with Jews. They have a dark sense of humor, and I know he thought it was cancer. <laughs> Got on the phone with recruiters like, Asa, bro. They're like, so, Nathan, tell us where you're from. That's like a hard question for me, man, because my mom is Latvian, my dad's Italian. They met in Israel. Somehow, I was born in Belgium. <laughs> And then we moved to America with an Arabic last name. So I just told recruiters I'm Puerto Rican, you know? Like, <laughs> it's just easier. Yeah. But I can imagine there was probably a moment where Jesus was about 16, 17. He goes up to Mary and Joseph and he says the thing that they've been afraid you might say his whole life. Whatever happened to the gold and the frankincense and the money? <laughs> and they're like, uh, Hmm? <laughs> you know the gold and the frankincense and myrrh that the wise men gave me. Like, I'm the ultimate trust fund baby. I'm going to have to be a carpenter's son for the rest of my life. And they're like, how does he even remember that? Okay, look at us now. Okay, just say something, Joseph. Say something, say something, say something! Okay, uh, uh, myrrh. That sounds like a made-up thing, Jesus. <laughs> and Jesus is like, okay, this is how it's going to go down. I want my fucking gold. And my franken fucking sense. And my myrrh fucking myrrh. Right myrrh franken fucking now. Virgin better have my money! Um, do you care for water without eyes or with eyes? With ice. I can, I always drink the water without ice, the word ice <laughs> scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Hi, I'm Marcus, and I'm the idiot on the comedy circuit. I've asked a group of comedians some questions on how to start and succeed in the world of stand-up comedy. Subscribe to this channel to see what their answers were, as well as to chart my progress on stage, be it crushing or crashing. More likely the latter than the former. You can also follow my progress on social media. I am I-O-N Comedy on Twitter and I-O-N Comedy Circuit on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Here is today's video. Honestly, it's this, but more money. I, you know, I like my life. I'm, I feel really fortunate that I, except on days that I have to fly, I wake up when I want to wake up and I write when I want to write and I perform when I want to perform. Um, you know, I would like uh, to be paid better for the work that I do and it's slowly increasing. I would like to have more control over my schedule and where exactly I perform and who I perform with. But it's more of this, more fans, it sounds a little greedy. I want more, 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 but I don't even need that much more. Like I'm talking about like a 20% increase of what I have right now. And I feel pretty good. I like what I do. I like my fans. I, I feel fortunate people know what I do and come out. I would just like a little bit more control. And um, if what I would say I have right now is financial stability, I would like uh, financial, um, uh, like, I would like a bigger savings account. Like I would like a bigger rainy day. That's what I, I don't feel like it's greed as much as it's like an oh shit fund because life is filled with oh shits. And as somebody that didn't really work for a year, I would like to not be stressed out for our next pandemic. Um, but I would say it's just more traveling, more stand up, more specials. Um, I, I'm pitching a, a, a script that I wrote. So I would love for that or anything I write to be made into something and to be a part of that. I'm, I'm not the biggest actor, but I do want to be a part of that in that sense, because I feel like I am a better actor when I feel connected to what I am performing. Um, but yeah, I just want to do more of this. Yeah, I want to caveat by saying that the industry of stand-up and just comedy in general, like the industry changes so rapidly that I think every few years the goal changes. Um, so I think the goal for me now, and it might stay like this for a while, just seeing how like, you know, the internet works now. Um, but success for me is to have a loyal fan base where 
each fan is willing to pay me X amount a month based on the content that I'm creating. And, and through that, I have the option to perform in whatever city I want. And I know that when I go into that city, it will sell out because of my fan base. Um, that's success for me. Um, to just kind of like make a living off of like monthly subscribers um, or like yearly subscribers and uh, perform on my terms and be living in New York City because I, I, you know, there's something about performing in New York City that makes it really, really fun. Um, so yeah, that, that's success for me. Uh, for me, it would be actually uh, doing this as a full-time job. I would like to pay my bills and just be able to do this as a real job and tour and and also master it like i don't think it's easy to master it so i have so many years i'm a vegetarian i'm gonna i'm gonna live 100 plus years all right so i have time uh so yeah i uh, just to be able to do this as a real job right now i'm i'm doing it kind of like 60 percent as my job i'm able to kind of pay bills but paying real bills and not be able to think about money and uh, and yeah that's it that would be success for me and and just never giving up on this beautiful art form it's addictive and you get better if you stick to it all right so that is it success as a stand-up comedian is i get to keep doing it forever <laughs> that's what it is it's uh i can uh, earn money from it but it doesn't have to be a lot of money. I just need to be able to keep doing it. Like, I think that's it really. Just, just, uh, I don't have to quit. I don't have to give up. That would be the worst, you know? And you think about it all the time. I'm sure every comedian does. Every comedian is always this close to quitting, I think. Cause you have a bad gig or you have a run of bad gigs and you just think, why am I doing this? You know, it's a very thankless task sometimes. I don't think there is another career where you spend so long doing the job but not getting paid for it like you're literally doing the job every day it's like it's you know like you you don't do that you know you, it's, it, most other pr professions they either like you know there's an apprenticeship or you know you get trained or whatever but it's like this it's like no you need to go and actually do the job really well for like eight years before you get paid for it off your own back you know and so i'd say success to me would be I get to keep doing it and that people like me or that, uh, you know, maybe I'll get to write something, you know, or, or be in a show or, you know, just just to kind of be able to do it and work with other funny people. That would be amazing. But I don't need stadiums. Crap. Like, you know, I mean, if that happens, I'm not going to say no, but like you don't need it. I just want people to, you know, people to come come to the show. I just want people to come to the show. That'd be nice. Because you, you need the audience. That's all you need, really. And you're, you're dancing. And that was today's video. Don't forget to click subscribe and hit the notification bell to be prompted when a new video comes out. And don't forget to follow me on social media, ION Comedy on Twitter and ION Comedy Circuit on Instagram, TikTok and Facebook. Okay, bye-bye.